everyone, it's Bethany, and you may have already guessed by the thumbnail picture, but I am pregnant. I'm so excited. I'm actually 20 weeks today, so I'm halfway there. It's crazy to me that I'm already halfway there. It feels like the time has flown by, um, but I'm super excited just to be where I'm at in the pregnancy and excited for each uh, week to come. And in July, um, my due date is July 7th, is when we'll be able to meet this amazing baby. So super excited, blessed, oh, I just can't even, words can't even describe. So this is going to be me and my husband's first child. We do know the sex. I think that I'm going to do another video um, kind of announcing the um, the sex of the baby because we did do a gender reveal and I think it'd be fun to kind of incorporate some pictures maybe a little bit of a clip from uh, some videos that people took and I wanted to just also know if you guys wanted to see some like pregnancy type videos I know this is obviously a more beauty channel and I do sometimes throw in some fashion and stuff too but um, you know primarily just a beauty and makeup channel but I know that I'm addicted to watching all of the pregnancy vlogs and like, um, you know, weekly updates from other people that I enjoy here on YouTube as well. So I didn't know if that would be something that you guys would be interested to see from me. I do have a couple like, um, you know, pregnancy type of products that I've really been enjoying so far. So I could talk about those in maybe a video. I also have a little subscription that my mother-in-law got me. And so I could do kind of like an unboxing from that as well. So there's some different type of videos that I could do that are pregnancy related. If you guys are interested in seeing them. I know I haven't been filming as many videos on my channel in general because I have been finally now feeling better. <laughs> I had a little bit of a rough start with this pregnancy. Pregnancy. I don't like to film when I'm not, you know, at my prime and feeling in a good mood to film. I just think that it's very apparent on camera. Now that I'm finally getting <laughs> into a swing of things where I feel better and I have more energy and I'm not throwing up all the time, I want to make more videos just with my beauty related stuff and then I'm really um, excited and interested to make some pregnancy videos as well. I'll go ahead and do just a little summary of the last uh, 20 weeks or so because because my symptoms have been fairly consistent throughout most of those weeks so it's not a ton of change each week as well so that was one of the things too uh, for filming like weekly updates I feel like now I'm finally having some differences each week so I think it would be fun to film those and I'm finally showing and growing and that kind of stuff is really fun so getting into uh, the last 20 weeks so we actually um, conceived this baby via IVF and I can do a whole video on that I actually I actually had filmed quite a few videos when I was going through the IVF process and then I just was so sick there for a long time that they never got edited and then it was just like this is like two months after so should I really post it now I decided not to post them but I can do a recap for you guys if you want to hear kind of my infertility story as well as like my IVF experience if that's something that would be helpful and interesting for you guys to do I would love to do that so we found out at basically like four weeks and like two days that we were pregnant and um, I had already done the progesterone injection, so I had a lot of progesterone in my body, but I was, you know, fairly doing okay with that, not too many symptoms. And then as soon as we found out, um, our fertility doctor had us start taking, or had me start taking, two progesterone suppositories every single day. So basically from the time I started that, and so it could have been the progesterone, which I think that intensified it, but then I think it was just pregnancy now further on that I know, um, but I was really really nauseous and really sick and from about week four to about 17 and a half 18 weeks I was consistently very very ill and nauseous um, it got so bad where we thought that at week 12 when I stopped the progesterone injections that my OB thought um, that I would have like decreased symptoms like crazy of the nausea and vomiting and I didn't and it continued <laughs> until that 17 half 18 week mark um, and it, it it was where I was throwing up almost 
I mean the highest was eight times a day but it typically ran around five or six times a day which is really intense especially since you want to keep those nutrients in you because that's what your baby needs to grow and all that stuff so I hadn't gained too much weight because of it um, I think because of all the vomiting I didn't want to eat didn't feel good it was just a lot and so I finally um, my OBGYN was like this is just too much we need you to not be throwing up that much and being that ill so she um, put me on I think it's called Dicyglis I took two of those um, pills a night and it helped me sleep it did make me a little extra tired during the day but I slept like a dream and then my nausea went down significantly and I was only throwing up I say only <laughs> like two or three times a day which when you go from you know six plus a day two to three is like totally manageable um, in my opinion still pretty sick and just not feeling well most of the days um, but it was really drastically different drastically different so um, I was probably like at the sickness level that most you know first time moms or you know um, moms in general if they get nausea that's like at their peak <laughs> so but their peak was like my like okay this is doable um, and the medication is totally safe for baby totally safe for mom so I felt okay doing that um, so I finally kind of started feeling better at like the 17 half 18 week mark and so I took myself off the meds and I do still sometimes throw up in the mornings um, I still am nauseated in the morning I'm getting a little bit more to where um, before if I ate or not ate didn't matter what it was I was nauseous now it's more of like I need to have something in my stomach or else I will get nauseous so that's totally fine and manageable I just have snacks throughout the day and in the mornings are a little bit rough that's usually at the worst time where sometimes I do throw up still um, but usually after that I'm good for the rest of the day my sense of smell which was a, one of the biggest triggers of my nausea I mean good smells bad smells any smells <laughs> anything was making me really ill so now I still have that high sense of smell but it's more manageable it's not making me sick 24 7 so that was really my main symptom throughout the pregnancy which was which was hard but totally worth it I mean I would do it all over again and again and again um, to be able to have a healthy baby that's that's my priority but it was rough slowly now getting a little bit more of like that hip and joint pain um, typically more in my hips where it's just kind of a little bit sore a little bit tender a um, little bit in my back I have had throughout um, the pregnancy as well a little bit more like drainage you know like have to blow my nose a little bit more I've had a little bit more like of a bloody nose here and there which I know is um, normal I read all the things about that my weight gain I was so I start from when I started IVF which I did gain a little bit in IVF because you're on a ton of hormones um, but that's kind of where I have started everything so from the beginning of IVF which was in October I've gained 10 pounds and now I'm 20 weeks so I'm really happy about that way I'm, I'm good to go I feel healthy the baby is healthy and so that's all that matters I know that they'll start packing on here soon I would love to be in the 25 35 pound range I think that would just be really healthy for me really healthy for the baby um, but again you know it just will you know we'll just see what happens as for showing like baby bump wise I had a little bit of like that baby bump um, around week 12 is when it started you know developing a little bit but it was still kind of in that like have you just gained a few pounds or is that a defined baby bump and I now feel like at the 19 half 20 week mark being um, today I feel like I now have like that rounded more prominent belly where it looks more like oh I think she probably is pregnant versus has Bethany just gained 10 pounds um, and it really has been more focused on my belly so far I think that if I really look clearly at pictures I can see a little bit in my face or you know a little bit in like my hips and stuff but for the most part it's been central to my belly which is perfect what are some other symptoms that I've had I mean the normal kind of just breast tenderness and uh, nipple tenderness I feel like my boobs have grown up a little bit but not anything crazy I know some women it's just like hollow like all of their 10 pounds is in their boobs by now um, but I haven't really had that 
situation going on yet. Um, I'm fairly just kind of petite in the chest anyway, so I didn't think that it was going to be a drastic change. And haven't had too many stretch marks so far that I can tell. I've had stretch marks in the past, just um, like a growth spurt when I was really young, like when I was a teenager. I have some on my side, but I haven't noticed any new ones. Um, so I have been putting on like oils and lotions on there, trying to do that at least twice a day. Sometimes it's just once. Um, but I have gotten like that itchy belly and itchy side and stuff so as soon as that comes up I don't try to itch at all and I just put on something that's gonna be you know like an oil to soothe it. I am curious I have a side tattoo um, and so I'm curious how that's going to look at the end of this. Uh, we'll see how that looks um, but it's all worth it. Hey if I have a wonky tattoo at the end of this it's okay I plan on having a few kids so what are you going to do? We've done all of the tests that you can do um, throughout the pregnancy so far. I think it was nine weeks when we did like just a full blood panel and then we did the non-invasive blood test that tests like any kind of chromosomal abnormalities as well as it tests the gender. And we actually, so they knew what the gender was at, you know, nine weeks or 10 weeks because it takes like a week to get back. And we didn't have our gender reveal until week 17. So there was a long time span in there where it's like we could know what it is, but we waited. We wanted to find out at the gender reveal as well. Um, so that was a long wait, but I figured you know most women don't even find out what the baby is until that time anyway so I'm just kind of doing it like the normal way but it was really great to do that test just to make sure um, you know how the baby was doing and growing and everything so far you know um, looks really low for any kind of chromosomal abnormalities or stuff like that and then we also did the it was like the first trimester ultrasound looking at that too you know they measure like the back of the neck and that um, type of stuff to see if there's any like prominent um, concerns for any abnormalities and again looks really healthy which is so important and um, the most important part of it then just been going to see my OBGYN you know every about three weeks and um, we, so we did an ultrasound at 7 weeks and 12 weeks and then at 20 weeks. So we've only had three ultrasounds. The one at 7 weeks was still at our fertility clinic to kind of graduate us into the OBGYN world. And um, then 12 weeks was that first trimester and then 20 weeks was the second trimester. As for cravings, I know a lot of people talk about cravings on these kind of like updates and stuff. Um, I haven't really had too many. Really, I've just been craving anything that I can hold down at this point. Uh, now I'm finally feeling more hungry and all foods are feeling a little bit more doable. I haven't really had too much like cravings. Like some people are like, I can't get enough lemonade or something like that. I just will crave something for a, a moment. Like all of a sudden a popsicle will sound really, really good. And so I'll want to have that. And then I will eat it and it's not like I need it every single night for like three weeks. It's just kind of like you have like these little moments like, oh, that probably sounds really good. And it is a little bit more intense than just like a regular craving. I have had some aversions though. I really, for the most part of the first trimester, was just eating a lot of cheese and a lot of like carbs because those were like the only things and fruit that sounded appealing whatsoever. Vegetables were just like uh, not good and meat, so like protein in general was like uh uh. So I tried to do as much cheese and like yogurt and if I craved like I would could do a Wendy's chicken sandwich, I would do that because I'm like I rather have some sort of chicken than nothing and just eat carbs. So I kind of just went with what my body was telling me to do. Now that I'm thinking a few other things are coming up. So I've been living on ginger ale. That's just been to try to keep my stomach as settled as possible. Um, and I just love ginger ale anyway. And mints have helped a little bit to just kind of settle things up a little bit. And because you're throwing up all the time so you won't have a mint in your mouth. And and then um, orange juice has always been something that sounded really good. I've always been a big water drinker and that's usually my primary 
just source of drinks. I really don't do a lot of like sodas or juices or anything like that. Um, but I have noticed that I've wanted more of those type of things versus just water. Like having orange juice at dinner sounds really, really good. Or having like a Sprite or a, I've been doing a lot of um, Shirley Temples at like restaurants versus normally I just choose water. The only one really weird thing that's happened food wise is I do not like fish. I like shrimp and lobsters and like that zone of the seafood experience but when it comes to like people loving to just order some salmon or halibut or whatever mm -mm, like not having it but my husband um, has this like battered cod that he gets from Costco and he made it a few weeks ago for himself and I was like let me just try that it smells good and so I took a bite and I like loved it <laughs> I thought it was like so good and so since then I've been, I've had probably that fish, that cod, I don't know, probably like four or five times in the last few weeks, which is unheard of for me, like totally unheard of. So that's been the only weird thing. Oh so yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good recap, even though it's like 20 weeks in one, <laughs> in like 10 minutes, that's been kind of mostly primarily what's been going on. Um, if you guys have any specific questions or something that I've left out that you'd like for me to talk about, please let me know down below and I'll answer either in a comment or in a video about that. Let me know if you want to see pregnancy related videos from me um, I would love to do them I think they're really awesome I've been watching them like crazy I've totally been neglecting my makeup videos because I've been obsessed with like what's the best thing to get for newborns <laughs> and like where is this person's baby bump versus mine and all that kind of stuff so I've been really addicted to them so I'd love to make them for you guys I'll go ahead and share with you guys real quick the baby bump and try to get my camera focused hopefully that will work it's really loud when I'm trying to focus it, so we'll see. This is the bump from the front. This is the bump from the side. So I feel like it's finally at the place where it's like getting a little bit rounder, so it does look more like a baby bump versus just some poundage going on. <laughs> then this is just naked belly shot. As you guys can see, there's my tattoo. Uh, so it's still going strong right now, but who knows what it's going to look like at week 40. And then just a little bit of a bump. I do have this line right here, but I've had that since I was basically like a teeny bopper. I don't know what it is about this kind of little line that I have on my belly, but there's the little bump. I just took my belly button off today because I did the ultrasound, and I think I'm going to keep it out. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's a big decision. All right, so there it is. That's my big announcement. So excited to be pregnant and to be finally sharing it with you guys. I've been wanting to share it with you guys for a long time. So let me know again if you guys want to see some pregnancy-related videos from me, and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!